Well, I look as good as they usually do. <laughs> Well, I vlog in all states, including the altered ones. It is 6 hours and 29 minutes into the day of Saturday, November 21st, uh, 2000, 2020. I almost said 2001. I don't know why that popped in my mind, but it did. Fridays I spend an enormous amount of time in my dreams. That's my day off. Same thing with Wednesday. And, um... It's not always possible to stay... Even though you stay within the state and it stays within your mind, it's still within my mind right now. And I talk about near misses and so on and so forth. I do get up to have something to eat. I had uh, fried eggs last night uh, while I was watching. Uh, uh, I was watching uh, uh, Kim Possible. I was going to go back and watch them. I'll uh, go on a side path. I had finished most of the YouTube show. But after, every, every once in a while, I get tired of watching vlogs and I want to go back to my cartoons. And so I do go back to the cartoons. And that's what I was feeling last night is going back to the cartoons. And so I ended up watching uh, Kim Possible. A different feeling, different sense of uh, of where I was, and you know, and it it, 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 it <clears throat> when I take the day off, my sense of mind is primarily within the dream world. Because I come out of a situation within the dream, I wake up, and the situation in terms of what happened and how I was feeling with how I was feeling was still with me, and my mind goes over the scenario on a repeated basis. And this is certainly no uh, no exception today, is that even though I'm, suppo I'm supposedly awake. <laughs> My mind isn't necessarily there. It's just just continually thinking about what I was what I was dreaming about, and a lot of it has to do with some of the things that I wish would come true. A lot of it, it comes into uh, some of the anxieties I have. I mean, you you always have anxieties. The anxiety is never actually go away. Uh, and just because they don't necessarily appear during the day as anxieties, they certainly do come out at night. And <clears throat> you, even, you even have anxieties from way back when, when you were a kid. The point in time... But you can sort of remove yourself from the anxieties is, is, is quite minimal because you may have a certain degree of control over yourself now. But you certainly did as a, certainly didn't as a kid. And so sometimes the, uh, the, the emotions and feelings that you had when you were younger come back into play again. And you begin you you begin to understand how, as much as you think you've accomplished, you really haven't accomplished much because some of the older triggers are actually so powerful that it sets you back in terms of the things you think you accomplished. Like, oh, where did that emotion come from? Where, you know, why am I, be, you know, if you know you you're able to control your behavior in the dreams, so that you're not freaking out, you're not sort of in the panic mode.
Then all of a sudden, this dream from way back when uh, comes up, and you're right back in panic mode again. I mean, the feeling is there is different when you're doing something new. You're getting up to a new level. Uh, sort of, you've accomplished certain things within your dreams. You're feeling accomplished within your dreams to a certain degree. But you never completely feel accomplished within the dreams. Because you never, you never end up reaching your end goal anyway. You never really end up uh, achieving what you want. You have some degree of achievement, just the way you do uh, when you're awake, but the overall achievement itself is still elusive. And it leaves a sense that there is a never-ending dream that, that even though you've left the dream, it's not over yet because you haven't reached the, the ultimate end point. But I think if, if you're going to become immortal and there is no ultimate end point, at what point in time do you what uh, what point in time do you achieve your end point? And that because that that becomes a problem because to a certain degree uh, it becomes a problem because uh, you now have to live with the reality that there is no in, no end point. There is no end. And this bec this becomes can be a very daunting idea. It could be something that's very, in many cases, frightening to know that there is no there is no end. That that in, in the sense of immortality, that uh, that there's always going to be something that's way beyond you. I mean, that's, if, that's if you think like that, you know, if you look, think of what, you know, you go and think of what the totality is. And where you are in that totality, if the totality is infinite, then no matter where you are in the, in the totality, unless you expand the entire totality itself, you're infinitely lost, or you haven't moved at all. And so you got to be happy. you got to, in many ways, be happy with what you have, happy where you are. This is kind of where that, that st this sort of perspective, perspective comes in, is are you happy where you are? Do you ha Are you happy with what you have? And then move forward from there. As soon as you can achieve that, uh, I think that's a good, worthwhile point, and it's not necessarily patting yourself on the back or giving yourself a me day or anything like that. This is, it's a, an totally entire, it's an entirely separate sense of self. The feeling that you, that you have is not, is, is, is kind of a happy one, but it's also satisfied, but it really doesn't have uh, a, an exact statement in terms of there's no way to really describe it, except that you feel that majority that the majority of your anxieties are gone. That the, no, the, the anxieties that were there before are no longer, and that you are okay with where you are. Not necessarily happy, with, but okay with where you are. And sometimes that could be that could be happy as well. But the thing is, is that there's no guarantee of that. And anyways, these are, this is the end point of the Friday vlog. Uh, we will probably doing the, uh, begin the uh, Saturday, the weekend, long weekend, the, the, week, <clears throat> the weekend vlog in about an hour or so after I do some gaming and meditation. And continue from there on out. Probably a scooting vlog today because I'm going to my parents' house for dinner. It is the feast day of St. Nectarius, the, the patron saint that I uh, follow. And we'll talk more about patron saints uh, uh, probably uh, in the scouting vlog uh, in, in a couple of hours.
12 quarter past 2 on Saturday, November 21st. So two, a little bit, bit, two hours and 15 minutes into the day. And we're starting our weekend vlog because we're on the scooter. Normally we'll be starting it in the, in the music room, in, in the music studio. But uh, because we're on the scooter today and, and anticipated this and no rain, uh, decided to do the vlog on the scooter. Having a good time. It's about 40 degrees outside. But it is cold. I've got my winter gear on. Put in winter gloves. And I'm fine. I'm not feeling cold at all. Now it's a matter of getting down the street, making sure everything is working okay. So, I'm doing about 40 kilometers an hour, 10 kilometers under the speed limit. I'm able to handle the bumps better at higher speeds now. Uh, not much of an issue. Uh, the starts and stops are still a little shaky, but I'll get there. I'm a little more fatigued than I typically would have been, but uh, it doesn't matter. I seem to be handling everything okay. The visor is working, I'm only using the clear visor because it's cloudy out today, so it's no need for anything that's uh, darkened. And it's working very well, it's keeping the wind out of my eyes, it's preventing me from tearing up. Good visibility. Have. And this is kind of the way it works is that uh, it's like uh, going on on a going on a trip. I feel like every time I've woken up I've been driving for five, six hours, I've gone on a, a, a road tour someplace, uh, a road tour, a road tour someplace and uh, I'm waking up and <laughs> just to take a bit of a break and you know have some water, stretch my legs. And then back to it again uh, for another eight hours. <laughs> That's kind of the way it feels. So it doesn't feel like I'm sleeping at all. So that means my body is physically active while I'm sleeping. The tension is there. of the situation. I, I think a lot of it is the anxiety. Where's that call about? Huh? Where's this call about? This is from, uh, from, from China. Yeah. So it's running on battery? On oh, battery, yeah. All battery. Very nice.
Yeah. Yeah. I, I'm in third. I'm in second gear only, and I'm doing 45 kilometers an hour. my nose.
course, pressing down too much, you know, you, you uh, end up accelerating too quickly. And it becomes a question of balance. Are you balanced properly? Okay, these are things you have to learn how to deal with. And, uh, in time, we'll get it. Better take off. Again, with the accelerator. 